So this has left a lot of us in the multidisciplinary care of breast cancer patients with a big question. Um, in the ACOSOG Z11 study, they recommended that the patients did not receive radiation directed towards the axilla. However, within the study, they didn't actually collect the radiation fields on how those patients were treated. And so there's been a lot of question raised, especially given the very low local recurrences that we'd seen in the patients treated on Z11, whether in fact some of the radiation oncologists were either sneaking up the tangents or definitively radiating the axilla. Um, that would, in theory, have been a protocol violation, um, but it wasn't very carefully tracked during the study. Um, I think this has left us all questioning this, and the MA20 data has made us question this even more. Uh, there was a recent study presented as a poster at San Antonio where the group from the American College of Surgeons Oncology group looked at um, the radiation reports, and overall it seems that the majority of patients were treated just with standard tangents and not with definitive radiation to the axilla. So um, about 89% of patients had radiation, so actually about 11% of patients didn't actually receive radiation. And about, I think it was 15% of patients had definitive radiation to the supracovicular area, so the definitive nodal radiation. But the vast majority of patients really just had their radiation to uh, the breast. Um, they were able to actually track down radiation field plans on about just over 200 patients in the study. So this is kind of a smaller subset. And within that group, we don't see any difference in the radiation field planning based on whether the patient was randomized to the sentinel node only group or the axial lymph node dissection group. So that's very encouraging information, but unfortunately it's just too small of a group to give us a true definitive answer.